Sony ZV-1F Review The Sony ZV-1F is an excellent mid-range video camera for beginners who want to start shooting their own videos. But if you're looking for something better, I'd suggest checking out our list of top vlogging cameras instead. Since launching the ZV-1, Sony has carved out a niche for itself in the entry-level video-making market. After adding three more models to their lineup, including one for beginners, GoPro launched a new camera called the ZV-1F. With its large half.3x Mirar CMOS sensor, the Sony Xperia ZV-1F aims to provide photographers with a high-quality experience when taking photos using their smartphones. The Sony ZV-1F is an extremely compact and light vlogging camcorder, weighing just 256 grams with a battery and SD card included. That's lighter than the 294 gram ZV-1. The small, plastic handle doesn't provide much reassurance but you won't be using it for anything too heavy, so there's no need for a watertight seal. It's not weatherproofed either, so don't expect to use it outside during bad weather. Unlike the ZV-E10, which had an interchangeable camera body, the ZV-1F has a fixed 20mm prime lens. There are few physical controls on the camera itself, but most of them are accessible through the touchscreen interface. These include the physical bokeh button, which allows vloggers to blur their backgrounds by pressing their fingers against the lens. If not, Sony has focused on making the ZV-1F as accessible as possible to lure in new users by giving them more control over the device. This includes adding more touchscreen features rather than cramming too many buttons and dials into the design. With its 3-inch LCD display, the camera features a Vari angle design which allows you to easily change the angle of the camera to capture the best shots. It also comes with a red frame surrounding the display that tells you whether you're capturing video or taking photos. You can use the touchscreen to control the functions of the ZV-1F by swiping up from the bottom of its screen, but I found the function to be somewhat sluggish and not always responsive. The ZV-2F has a directional 3-capacitor microphone built into the body of the camera, which I found recorded crisp and clear audio both inside and outside. There's a built-in screen protector in the box and the camcorder is compatible with external microphones. But Sony has chosen to fit a cold shoe over a regular hot shoe so you won't get to attach an external light source. As for the ZV-1, I was pleased to hear that Sony has finally made the leap to USB-C on its new camera. With its other ZV camera, Sony has packed a mixture of standard features and more standout vlogging tools into the new ZV-1F camera. The IAF did a really good job of focusing on people and animals. However, I didn't like having to manually adjust the lens in order to get a sharp image. Also, I found it difficult to change the focal length without zooming out first. It has electronic image stabilization with active shooting modes which help to limit the effect of shaky video. However, it cannot compete with the stabilization of an action cam like the GoPro Hero 11 Black. When it comes to vlogging recording features, it'd be hard to beat the convenience provided by Sony's ZV series. With varying intensities, the soft skin effect allows you to soften the skin in the camera without making it look unnatural. And the facial recognition mode ensures your facial features are bright and clear when you record video. The bokeh mode lets you blur out the background without having to adjust the aperture manually. This feature is one of my favorites because it makes focusing on your subject as easy as taking a picture with your smartphone camera. And using the Christmas lights as an example gives you the chance to create some pretty cool light effects.